guys have done such tremendous work. Has the focus shifted a little bit with Farm Sanctuary? What are sort of the challenges that you see now where we need to kind of push forward? Well, I think in the mid-1980s, there was very little attention being paid to what was happening to animals on factory farms. Today, thankfully, there's more awareness about the abuse of factory farming. There's mainstream opposition to the cruelty of factory farming. And also, there's a recognition that it's, it's wasteful to the environment. It's, it's harmful for our health. And so we're in the midst, I think, of a food movement where people are uh, starting to make choices that are more aligned with their own values and their own interests. And as people do that, um, we're going to see a shift away from industrial animal agriculture and towards more plant-based eating and plant-based farming. So that, I think, is the direction things need to go. Um, and with Farm Sanctuary, we will continue to operate our shelters, encourage people to come visit and connect with the animals. Um, we will encourage people across the country to make more thoughtful and mindful food choices. And we'll continue working on laws to ban some of the worst abuses. So it's a, a lot of things still going on, but we're making enormous progress. You're not retiring anytime soon. I don't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to just sort of you know, be on the farm and grow vegetables at some point, but that's a long ways off. And play with the animals. And play with the animals, absolutely. They are so adorable. You go to your site and there are all these videos and you see these beautiful pictures of the animals up there. I can't wait to go and meet them. Well, you've got to come visit our farm up in Watkins. Glen, when can I come? Anytime, this week, come on up. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. You don't need a special occasion or invitation. There's going to be a hoedown coming up, but I can really go at any time. We have farm tours where people can come visit the farm and just tour the place. We also have events. So the first weekend in August, you have a hoedown, and we'll have hundreds of people come, and people camp out on the farm during the hoedown. It's just like a Grateful Dead concert in 1985. <laughs> well, it's some, similar in some ways, but you know, it's, it's, it's more of a family event, I guess I would say, than a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> Uh, but people do pitch tents, and we have a campfire, we have a dance, we have music, and we have workshops and presentations. And we also have a lot of time on the farm where people can go and just hang out with the animals and interact with them and commiserate with them and, and just enjoy their company. I love that. I think once you meet them, you can't eat them. This is my saying tonight. I've, I've, found, I've thought of it the other day, and I'm like, you know what? This is a good thing. I think that's so true. Once you meet them, you can eat them. You know, and when you look into the eyes of an animal and see that they have feelings like other animals and that they want to live, you know, and they don't want to be abused. So, you know, farm animals have feelings like all other animals. And when you come to Farm Sanctuary, you see that very clearly. I'm so excited to come visit. Oh, absolutely, you must. And Jean, I have to ask you, how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan since 1985, so a little over 25 years. That's great. And um, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a, a, an old tux that I got probably 15 years ago, and I wear it. Well, it looks fabulous. No, well, thank you very much. So it's just like, you know, sort of, it was like 150 bucks. Awesome. Well, you know, I'm on a red carpet, so I have to ask, you gotta so ask darling, that. what are you wearing? And, and what about shoes. the, sh <laughs> <laughs> the hey, shoes? Hey, The shoes came with the cheap tux. <laughs> awesome. Well, you dress it up well, and you make it look very elegant. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jean, so much. Oh, thank you.